Thanks for joining me for another review. This one is for the Storm All Road. My layout is 4.5 by 5 by 3. I've been using 5 by 5 by 3 lately, but I thought I should go a little stronger on the pen length due to how long that core goes for me. House shots at both Gage and Westridge, most people bowl on them, helps with consistency from video to video, and it's a heck of a lot faster to film. Here at Westridge, we use these lanes for leagues, so they have a few games on them to show you how these react on transition. Naturally, the second arrow thing didn't work at all. It's just quick enough on friction that I could either get it down the lane or get it to shape right, but not both. I've got shoulder problems, so I can do speed or revs, just not both at the same time, but we'll see some straighter shots when we move to gauge. The high road is one of the all-time greats, and NRG Hybrid has looked really good on a couple balls lately, the Physics and the Supersonic. I, of course, don't get along with the Supersonic, but most people do, so the all road is going to be on your radar if you like the idea of high road plus Physics plus supersonic. It's more physics and less supersonic due to the long and strong core, of course, but also unmistakably high road. It gets easy length and rolls up through the pins. It's very arky, very continuous, and there are flashes of the high road nano in the shape. It's definitely a nice ball to bridge the gap from the thunder line to the master line. High road or high road X to IQ Emerald is a pretty big jump, and the all road fills that nicely. It's earlier than the other high roads, of course, but still smoother on the back end, so even with that strong cover, it still fits in the thunder line. Again, I like stuff with a little shine on it and it takes a couple games of use anyway for a ball to settle in. People who get rid of a ball after throwing it for a game drive me insane. But both this one and the Gravity Evolve got some games on them before I filmed. And you should definitely give a ball 10 to 15 games before you form an opinion anyway. There have been countless numbers of balls that I didn't like out of the box but ended up really liking once I gave them a chance. The Idle Pearl most notably. Now for straighter players, you're probably going to like this one with a bit of surface though because the core is already pretty long and some surface will help it pick up and blend the lane a little better. The heavy hands will probably want some polish or just general lane shine. I prefer that to polish personally. But Chad McLean mentioned that he does prefer this one with a little surface on it, which probably isn't a bad idea if you're taking it out on a fresh shot. Now moving to gauge, surface isn't the greatest idea here and sanded solids definitely don't look that great here, but with this one being a hybrid it looks better than most, and with a little more lane shine it starts looking pretty good. Now for most people this isn't going to be a ball to start with on the fresh unless you have a drier house shot or slower speed. Obviously with energy hybrid on it that's a strong cover, but it's still a little too long and quick on the fresh for me. Once a little transition shows up and I have more friction in the track, that's when I'd pull the all road out. As you saw from the last couple at Westridge, once you get some friction to work with, you can pull out the big wheels and have some fun. For me, the all-road slots right under the ProMotion and Idle Pro. Similar shapes, but the all-road gets down the lane easier, and there is a point where the ProMotion starts to get a little slow down lane from really big angles unless you just hammer on it at the bottom. But if you're under a 500 rev rate, the all-road is going to be something to ball down to that will give you that really similar round arky shape, but give it to you at the end of the lane rather than spreading it out so much. If the all road gets to be too much, balling down to the high road pearls, the same idea. Similar shapes, but even more length and less hook. For me personally, the all road would be at the bottom of my league bag. Usually I'm starting with something like the Crux Prime or probably now Gravity Evolve at Westridge and balling down to the Idle Pro if I need to. So I probably won't see enough transition at Westridge to get it out for league, but at Gage or at the other house I bowl at, it would definitely see some action. I'd also expect it to be a game 4 or 5 ball for the longer format sweepers I go to, or maybe the second set of double singles at a house tournament like Greater Ozarks or Greater Tulsa Open. My High Road T, which is just an overseas high road, looked really, really good for both singles and doubles this year at Greater Ozarks, so even though it's several months off yet, I'm taking a high road bag and this one will be in it. The All Road releases October 25th with the Gravity Evolve, and if you're a high road fan, you'll be interested. This one is definitely worthy of the name. Thanks for watching. Ha, 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 ha.